Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to talk about Shelly i3. So what is Shelly i3? It is an intelligent device from Shelly which can command other connected Shelly devices or other HTTP, MQTT or co-op controlled devices. It is very small and can be installed inside the back box of a switch. The Shelly i3 has multi-click support for up to 24 possible actions. It has three AC inputs for up to eight actions per input. It doesn't need a hub. It connects straight to your Wi-Fi network with support for 802.11b, g, and n. There is support for 110 to 230 volts AC and 24 to 60 volts DC. I use mine with a push switch. So far, I have only configured input 1 with 4 actions, but as I said, there are 8 available actions per input. These are button switched on URL, button switched off URL, button long pressed URL, button short pressed URL, button short pressed twice URL, button short pressed three times URL, button short and plus long pressed URL, button long plus short pressed URL. To configure these, you go to actions and choose one of the actions to configure. You select enable and then press add in order to add a URL to be hit when the action is executed. You can add multiple actions, for example to open the garage gate and turn on the light. There is a warning that adding more than two actions can affect the normal operations of the device depending on the network infrastructure and the control devices. To power the Shelly i3 you need to connect the red and blue cable to the phase in neutral. Many installations do not have a neutral at the back of the switch. You will need to provide a neutral cable in order to be able to run the i3. Then there are the three input wires. You connect each one into a switch or a push switch. I use the push switch. Connect the phase to one end of the push switch and the input from the i3 at the other end. Just make sure to use the same phase for powering the i3 and the switch. Do not mix up phases if your installation has multiple phases. I won't cover the Shelly i3 integration into the Shelly app as it is exactly as for any other Shelly device. Once you have the device connected and available into the app, it's time to start configuring. I will show you two examples to get an idea, but the possibilities are endless. If I press the push switch once shortly, the staircase light is going to come on. Now, if I do a long press of the push switch, the staircase light is going to turn off. To configure it, select the action button short press URL. Tick the enable box, then insert the URL as you see it on the screen changing the IP address, username and password for this device, if you use any. Then press save. For the long press action, select the button long press URL action and repeat the same step. You will need to provide the IP address of the device you would like to turn on and off. The next actions require the same steps, but instead 
you need to select button short plus long press URL and button long plus short press URL. Now I configured another combination for the kitchen lights. If I do a short press and a long press, the kitchen light is going to come on. Now if I do a long press and a short press, the kitchen light is going to turn off. These are just a couple of simple examples of what you can use the Shelly i3 for. With only three push switches, you can control a lot of devices. I could configure it to turn on the swimming pool pump or to open or close all the Venetian blinds at the same time. You will most likely find it a usage I haven't even thought about. Overall, I find the Shelly i3 a brilliant device for a very good price. I haven't yet been able to integrate it into Home Assistant, but I'm working on it. If you have done it already, please leave, leave a comment below. I would also love to hear what ideas you might have to use with the Shelly i3. Thank you for watching. As usual, if you think this video was useful, please hit the like button. If you would like to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. Or if you have any questions, please leave them below and I will try to help. Until next time, all the best.